me hello everyone uh, today we will discuss about the new topic uh, the important topic in the calculations uh, that is percent yield okay so a percent yield means you know the yield means uh, the amount of the compound formed the amount of the product formed is called yield okay so percent yield means uh, it is a comparison so comparison between the actual formed product and theoretical formed theoretically calculated theoretically calculated product for example so calcium carbonate on heating we know the reaction so calcium oxide and carbon dioxide so this is one more this is already balanced so uh, so this is uh, one more means how many grams 100 grams so 100 grams to decompose of okay. how many moles into one mole so how much compound will be formed so calcium 40 is 56 grams so carbon dioxide one mole gap at so here 44 grams of carbon dioxide will be formed so i can do the balanced equation just that is called a theoretical theoretical nothing but calculated both are equal because when i calculate this the basis kone so that is a balanced equation so balanced equation to one place a calculation or theoretical value and tell the value we obtain with the help of the calculation using balanced equation then one calculated or theoretical value and so you get a hundred grams uh, limestone calcium carbonate decompose with a so actually in the form only 56 grams I can do the balanced equation 56 grams of calcium oxide form only but uh, in the experimental condition no experiment is to stay in the 56 car coach maybe 55 52 or 50 grams and then average and I want to exp because it also depends on general balanced equation to run down to calculate just the and experiment is to put it depends on there is a different type of side effects for the side reactions out there uh, it also depends on other conditions so uh, temperature condition next you well this for the calcium carbonate purity the purity of calcium carbonate so when the conditions based is going to actual the product formatted and I'm actually going to experiment just say experiment just a product key theoretical guest is a product at laundry it is difference okay so the same the comparison of a theoretical value nothing but calculated value and the actual value actual value and the experiment is the actual value and so that comparison that ratio never to a percent yield and okay so now we define so we can uh, define the percent yield like this so it is the exponentially So percent D you can write like this, okay. So percent E equal to experimental E. Experimental E. E means uh, the amount of uh, product formed. So and the compound formed then experimental E by theoretical theoretical means but calculated with the help of balanced equation that's experimental or so then uh, there is also then awarding different values okay so percent e is also experimental based flow actual so one experiment is so actual so calculated with the help of balanced equation there is a called theoretical so experimental yield theoretical yield so this is called uh, so percent yield so take it up percent deal in the uh, introduce also to the day because uh, the actual nothing but experimental product experimental is always less than 
సో మనకి హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ ఎప్పుడు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇంతకు ముందు రియాక్షన్ లో సో హండ్రెడ్ గ్రామ్స్ కి హండ్రెడ్ గ్రామ్స్ ఆఫ్ లైమ్ స్టోన్ హీట్ అవుతాయి డీకంపోజ్ అవుతాయి ఎన్ని గ్రామ్స్ ఆఫ్ కాల్షియం ఆక్సైడ్ లైమ్ ఫామ్ అవ్వాలి ఫిఫ్టీ సిక్స్ గ్రామ్స్ ఆఫ్ లైమ్ ఫామ్ అవ్వాలి బట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ హ్యాపీనింగ్ సో హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ ఫిఫ్టీ సిక్స్ గ్రామ్స్ ఎగ్జాక్ట్ గా నీకు ఫామ్ అవ్వదు లెస్ ఒక వన్ పాయింట్ టూ వన్ గ్రామ్ టూ గ్రామ్ ఎంతో కొంచెం డిఫరెన్స్ వస్తుంది ఆల్వేస్ ద ప్రోడక్ట్స్ ద ఆల్వేస్ ద ఎక్స్పెరిమెంటల్ వాల్యూస్ ఆర్ లెస్ దెన్ ద థెరటికల్ వాల్యూ సో మనం ఎంత పర్సెంటేజ్ కరెక్ట్ గా ఫామ్ అయ్యండి దాన్ని మనం పర్సెంటేజ్ ఈల్డ్ లో కంపేర్ చేస్తాం ఓకే సో వై దిస్ పర్సెంటేజ్ ఈల్డ్ వై దిస్ పర్సెంట్ ఈల్డ్ ఈజ్ టేకెన్ మీన్స్ బికాస్ ఆల్వేస్ ఎక్స్పెరిమెంటల్ వాల్యూస్ ఆర్ నాట్ మ్యాచింగ్ విత్ ద థియరటికల్ వాల్యూస్ what is the purpose so here we are writing the reason that what is the purpose uh, to introduce the a topic that is percent e is uh, so that is due to the so the experimental e e means the formed amount the experimental e is always is always less than theoretical theoretical means it is calculated theoretical e so due to this reason so we we have to take the percent yield okay mean this is the purpose the scientists created the concept that percent yield so now we see the problems based on it but uh, we have to remember the simple formula actual yield by theoretical yield into 100 okay so now we see the problems in the reaction of magnesium with sulfur in the reaction of magnesium with sulfur so 50 grams so 50 grams of magnesium oxide was formed so find percent e so here important we have to write the balanced equation means we must know about that reaction so here simple reaction is given so magnesium reacted with sulfur and this is the formation of uh, so magnesium sulfide not mgo actually it was another problem mgs so formation of magnesium sulfide so what is the formula we know the actual weight by theoretical weight so theoretical weight and the calculate this time now so theoretical weight and the calculator based on our balanced equation so all it is balanced here one mole so one mole gram how many grams magnesium so 24 grams of magnesium so what is the sulfur it is 32 grams i get the equation so i have the formula here this is 24 it's so a 56 grams so take two reactions now so but the weight will be like direct the 24 32 is common first of 56 grams of magnesium sulfide should be formed according to the balanced equation but how much it is formed it is formed only 50 grams so therefore substitute in the equation so therefore percent will equal to 
सो परसेंट इज इक्वल एक्चुअल ईल्ड एक्चुअल ईल्ड बाय कैलकुलेटेड ईल्ड सो हाउ मच विल गेट द परसेंट इज एक्चुअल एक्सपेरिमेंट जस्ट इन द फॉर्म इज मतलब कि फिफ्टी ग्राम्स so I can calculate this thing how much fifty six okay so on this calculation so we will get that is eighteen and point two eight mean there is a good good amount of compound is formed the hundred percent formed is impossible so eighty ninety so approximately ninety percent formed is given to you so it is the best uh, amount of percentage learned okay let's see one more problem Take one more problem. So there is a if sixteen grams of calcium carbonate same. So it is also given calcium carbonate. So general work problem. So it is treated as it given as limestone. Okay. So are decomposed. Uh, And seven point four five grams of sorry, and seven point five four grams of calcium oxide. Then it is treated as a lime. Are found. So, what is the percent yield of? Uh, Percent yield of CaO oxygen. So very simple problem. Now what is the reaction? Uh, calcium carbonate forms CaO plus CaO. I get the balance equation. One mole, one mole. Actually, I get two. Is that one mole? Got about a hundred gram. This is one mole. Got about a so fifty six grams. So I shall get a how much compound is formed. So in the first one, I am going to separate the amount equivalent magnesium and sulfur. I am going to get a particular amount of calcium carbonate, 16 grams. I am going to mention this. And so now general calculation. So 100 grams gives 56 grams of CaO. So directly 100 grams of CaO. So 100 grams of limestone. Produce how much again to this equation? So 56 grams of lime. So if our problem or mention this is there, it is produced is given only 60 grams of uh, CaCO3 produced. You know, how much CaO? Okay. So that is a uh, 16. So cross multiplication. So on this calculation, we will get. Uh, Sixteen to fifty-six. This eight ninety-six. Now how much we will get? Eight point nine six grams of CaO. So I can do the balance equation. So I can get eight point nine six grams of CaO form over. But in the form only. It is formed only seven point five four, so capital one percent is five hundred. So 
so percent yield equal so you have to write the formula once again but here i am substituting the values directly okay right again so actual actual yield by so calculated yield total into 100 so you have to write the equal uh, the formula neatly okay so what is the percentage yield percent yield we will get actual yield how much it actual means uh, up till 7.54 so but experimental experimental 7.54 calculated that is 8.96 into 100 so on this calculation just wait This is a seven point five four divided eight point nine six. Here we get zero point eight four. Means here we are getting dot the percentage is under eighty four percent formula. Okay, so exactly for example. Uh, in the form of actually eight point nine six form or eight point nine six eight point nine six is form right? So we said it is hundred percent yield and the but a hundred percent is not possible. So we can have like yield eight point nine six k. It is just from seven point five four that percent is calculated. So we got eighty four percent. Take one more problem. Take one more. The three point three grams of uh, magnesium oxide is produced by. by the reaction between uh, so 3 grams of magnesium and 15 liter of oxygen Find the percent yield. Find the percent yield of MgO. So here, so difference is uh, first write the equation: magnesium plus uh, oxygen uh, forming MgO. For balancing purpose, just uh, two moles O2 and uh, MgO. So actually, it means that two moles. So our final MgO yield final out chai. Now, if you look at experimental, experimental length, it should be three point three grams each one. So experimental, this is always given age value, given value. Yeah. Experimental, man, our final out jaise thunder. So the calculator final out chai, then it direct look to you watch. ओके फस्ट एग्जापल मग्नीशियम सलफाइड सम फिफ्टी ग्राम से सो सैकड़ प्रॉब्लम मन सपरेट एंत अमौंट आफ लाइम फाम क्या चाहिए सो ई प्रॉब्लम में मल्ल वट इज द कंफ्यूजन एयर द डीटेल आफ टू रियाक्टें आर् गिवे सो डीटेल आफ टू रियाक्टें इच्छापड़ो रियाक्टेंट सो एंत अमौंट फाम फाइव एंत अमौंट फाम अव्वा फाइव रोड सो एसक टू रिया डीटेल दट इज लिमटिंग रिजेंट अंत लिमटिंग रिजेंट कंबाइंड फाम प्रॉब्लम 
So I can do the equation. So you can write the two moles. Two moles and how many grams? That is a two into its molecular weight. Uh, that is forty-eight grams. So oxygen. So actually, you know, one mole of oxygen. One mole of oxygen. Then uh, so I am writing it as a uh, twenty-two point uh, four liters. So why I am writing this oxygen in liters means uh, here oxygen is given in terms of liters. Okay. It is fifteen liters. It is given, but it is twenty-two point four liters as well. So it is about uh, two into mgo. So magnesium oxide means how much? Twenty-four hydrogen. So magnesium. Okay, twenty-four sixteen. So forty. Okay. So eighty grams. Fifteen liters. Okay. I uh, have forty-eight grams react with the uh, twenty-two point four liters and forming the uh, two moles of magnesium oxide, eighty grams, eighty grams form one. So actually, can the form one? This three point three grams is form one. Okay, so the three point three grams are formed. So actually, can the form one? Because with the help of uh, actually forty-eight grams, this can be how much MgO five hundred JH? Or twenty-two point four liters, this can be how much five hundred JH? Okay, base this one. Twenty two point four liters. Okay, how much? What I want? Fifteen liters. Let's compare change. Ah, uh, magnesium. So compare is a forty eight grams. Okay, eighty grams. So what is for three grams? But uh, so I mean, either one reactant this one is the problem. So a reactant this one which is completely consumed in the reaction. That is called limiting reagent. But before going to proceed the calculation, we must identify about the limiting reagent. Okay. So, get a limiting reagent. Find out, shall we? So, get a 48 grams. So, 48 grams ki 22.4 liters. For example, 3 grams ki how much uh, O2 required? General calculate jada. So, 3 grams ki how much? 48 grams need. So, edo get compare jada. Magnesium to oxygen na compare jada. Oxygen to magnesium na compare jada. We know that. So for a gram magnesium need to react, how much oxygen? Twenty-two point four liter oxygen required. So we have a problem. Like it should be three grams of magnesium parts per liter. So three grams of magnesium need how much oxygen? So only that means fifteen liters is enough. But fifteen liters slow. What the use of the limiting reagent? What's the matter with this one? That is three into twenty-two point four by eight. Okay, approximately sixteen. Okay. So here we will get how much? Twenty-two point four. Uh, divided sixteen, uh, so there is only one point four liters. Okay, that's three grams. Okay, it require only one point four liters. Say, so one point four liters. Say, but but it is given how much? It is given a fifteen liters. Just wait. Okay, it is given fifteen liters. So so fifteen liters. Okay, but so if fifteen liters react the valent. So it's all I use out that three grams key, three grams of magnesium key, three grams of magnesium key, just one point four liters. Sir, go there. Okay, okay. How much it is given? Fifteen liters each. So what? A fifteen liters each. Now fifteen liter. What the reactant of parts per day? Chai slayed. Okay, it's three grams of magnesium. I put there. Three grams of magnesium complete reactant of valent. Okay, one point four liters of oxygen. Sir, also. So, about one point fifteen liter no one point four liters react type. The remaining part, the main reactant is going to. So, if we do complete type of the reaction, close type and stop type and the magnesium. So, magnesium is the limiting reagent. So, on that basis, there is a problem. So, here, one point four. So, you write this statement. So, for Three grams of magnesium. It need a 
only 1.4 liter of oxygen but uh, 15 liter of uh, oxygen is given so kind of more amount in the kind of more amount is in oxygen so less amount the total complete I amount in the magnesium so therefore we write uh, the limiting reagent is Less amount of the O2 is limiting reagent, but O2 is excess. Excess is used less amount of the U. That is called limiting. So, limiting reagent is magnesium. So, I put general magnesium basis for the problem. What is the reaction? Magnesium plus O2 gives 2MgO. So only magnesium check this correct. Okay, magnesium how many grams? This now we said 2 into 24, 48 grams gives 2 mgo. That is 2 into 40, so 80 grams. So here we can write uh, a statement that uh, according to the equation, 48 grams of the magnesium on reaction produce how much? 80 grams of MgO. Then what about 3 grams? Problem is 3 grams, 15 liters. So 15 liter excess cover we are removing. So 3 grams of magnesium produce how much MgO? Transplant equation. There is how many grams? There is a 5 grams. Okay. So, to work it out, and the pharma value 5 grams of MgO. So, balance equation base is 3 grams of magnesium, 5 grams of MgO pharma value. But uh, it is given. So, what is given in the problem? It is only 3.3 grams of magnesium was produced. And here the problem is total in 3 steps. Okay. So, first step low, limiting the age and find out this term. Second step law limiting reagent you just gonna act excess so calculated balance equation to other theoretical value find out this one. The two values be equal value basis for percentage yield find out. Okay, so it's a five grams of chili. Percent is actual actual yield by calculated. So actual means experimental or actual right? or calculate just to achieve the actual card. So actual means uh, experimental. The experimental is given how much experiment just to achieve only 3.3 .3 grams, but how much you have to get 5? So that is approximately 66. Just wait. Okay, that is a 66 percent. It's a very less amount of release form. So just take one more problem. one more problem so 45 grams of uh, nitric oxide nitric oxide reacts with the uh, an excess of NaOH
6 gram H2O were obtained. So what is the percent yield? So what is the percent yield? Okay. So one of H2O percent yield is find out value. So first uh, important uh, we must know about the reaction. So the reaction is uh, when nitric oxide reacts with the sodium hydroxide. So there is a formation of a uh, sodium nitrite and water. Okay. And nitrous oxide. So first balance the equation. Uh, two sodiums, two nitrogen. Here, three nitrogens are given. Total merit four. Uh, two, uh, two hydrogens, two hydrogens balance. So what about the sodium? Here, yeah, two sodiums. Okay, two sodiums. The oxygen becomes four. Oxygen is four, and it will become two. Maybe two. To ask why it is possible. Two nitrogens, so on putting four becomes easy. Okay. And two, two nitrogens. Here four nitrogens. Here also again two nitrogens. So so four nitrogens, two sodium, two sodium. How many oxygens? Four to six. The four is the five six. So this is the balance the equation. So we could have Okay, the given is uh, 4 moles as I can to the equation 4 moles of nitric oxide 4 moles of NO so excess in here each other so already excess each other but the so but a limiting reagent in here NO actually I don't do details each other two uh, the details of two reactants is there or reactant to test them because uh, either the excess on the reactor or total consumer was covered than the list number we are not considering uh, it for calculation but in this problem directly it is given the excess in your voice. Now the excess in your voice is given the excess in your voice. So we have to consider this NO and water. Okay. So we have 4 and water given in terms of mass. So mass terms will be given. So what is the NO? So it is 14, 16, 30 grams. Okay. Uh, 4 into 30 grams. So 4 into 30 grams. 4 moles uh, nitric oxide means it is a 14 16 4 into 30 grams of NO produce how much water 1 mole of water so 1 mole of water it is a 18 grams okay produce 18 grams of water so, but it is given how much 45 grams the 45 grams of NO produce how much water so on this calculation we will get the 45 into So here, here on this calculation we will get the six point so here only six point seven five here six point five six point seven five grams of uh, water is produced. So this is a theoretical value uh, according to the calculation. But in the problem it is given just uh, six grams only formed means 0.75 gram is difference okay. so based on this now calculate the percent yield
So percent E equal to so how much? So actual So what is the actual yield? Actual yield means uh, the experimental. So how much should form 6.75 armor? Okay, here the calculations are also very important. Six. Given eighty eight percent, so the percentage yield is eighty eight percent. So these are the different problems based on percent yield. Okay, tomorrow we start the another topic.